Just to point out before we get going that I'm on an Energica Xperia that I've got on loan from English Electric to do some videos and a review on. It's not relevant to this video, but I did hit a pothole with it, so it's, uh, it's what's kind of spurred this conversation, although this was forming for a while. Oh, pothole! I saw that and was like, I'm not going to be able to avoid it. I've just got to take that. Jesus. Rims are absolutely fine. The suspension took that quite well. Thankfully, Oz Racing wheels. That was a serious pothole. I think hitting it at speed was probably the best thing to do because it meant I skipped over it more than went into it. Now, I got very lucky when it came to that pothole because this is about 28 grand's worth of bike uh, which is on loan to me to review and i hit a nasty pothole but thankfully due to the just i think luck and the speed i was going i skimmed over it mostly the rear wheel did catch it slightly and there was a noise but thankfully i think that was just the chain slapping no damage to the tire no damage to the rim everything seems absolutely great this bike you know it's a solid big bike it just it just seemed worse than it actually was seems that everyone all over the country is complaining about potholes in their area. If you're not from the UK and you don't know what a pothole is, it's basically a hole in the road. But I'd like to include in that, like that was there, road defects. The roads in the UK apparently have had hardly any repairs done to them for about 18 months and it's really starting to show because there are potholes forming everywhere. Now if you hit these with your car, it's an inconvenience and it can really badly damage your car. You know, you can rip off wheels even if they're bad enough. Now, if you do hit a pothole in the UK and it hasn't got any markings on it, as long as you gather the evidence, you can, in theory, claim from the council for the damages to your vehicle. However, I know from speaking to people who've tried to do this, it's very difficult to do. In fact, years and years and years ago, my brother had a Vauxhall Nova, one of the really old ones, with the, uh, the three-spoke alloys, basically, and he hit a pothole with that and shattered the rim tried to claim against it and he went back there the next day uh, and they would already filled it in which is good but then they were like what pothole sort of thing and this is pre phone cameras and all that sort of stuff so it wasn't like you could get a picture but the way they get around this is they just spray some white spray paint around the hole and then go well you, it's been marked now you can see it well like in my example there was no hope on earth of me ever seeing that pothole. It was in dappled light, which was really not helping, but those little white spray paint lines aren't going to do a thing. Now, I say, I'm just lucky that, well, one, it didn't do any damage to the bike, but two, it wasn't more serious. You know, you've, this is what I want to talk about here. Bikers, what have your experiences, what are your stories of potholes? Have you damaged your bike? Have you crashed because of a pothole? Did you try and claim against the council? Basically, bikers and potholes, everything you have to say about them, go. Now, I understand a lot of people are going to want to go on and on and on about political stuff and why they're not getting fixed. And, I mean, if you want to do that, I guess you can, but it's not really what we're talking about here. We know why they're not getting fixed, because of the government. It's just, you know, that's simply it. They, they don't want to spend the money to fix the roads, and the longer you leave them, the worse it gets, and then the bill gets bigger, and then you get this snowballing effect of the roads being completely destroyed, and then them not having nearly enough money to fix them. Now, I've read a few articles, and a few of them lead with this idea that, that potholes are most dangerous for cyclists because road defects make up for something like 25% of the reason why push bikes come off. I don't know about this. Yeah, cracks in the road and small things like that are going to have a bigger effect on a push bike. That is perfectly true. So, yeah, I can get why the road defects do that. But most at risk to potholes, I think, has to be bikers, motorcyclists. Because as a cyclist, you're going 20 miles an hour at most, probably. You should be able to see that in front of you, if the lighting's good. But my point is you're going so much slower, you should have more time to react. Bikers, you can find a pothole at 50 mile an hour in a corner. And if you do find a nasty pothole at 50 mile an hour in a corner, you're likely gonna come off or have a very big moment and need some new trousers. The amount of potholes that I have skimmed at speed because I didn't know they were there, because they can form just like in a few days, is 
it's, I've lost count by this point. As I say, I never really hear too much about bikers hitting potholes and the, and the results of that. So I'm asking you, what are your stories with it? That's what this video is all about. Now, you're about to see something that I'm overjoyed about and massively surprised to see in just a few moments. When they fix potholes normally, they just fill the hole in badly and it lasts a few, few months and it reopens up. If you're lucky, if you're really lucky, they'll do this. Yeah, over the last few nights, they've been down fixing the road and uh, resurfacing it. Now, I will say, it already has repair patches in it, even though they've only just laid it. I don't follow that entirely. Uh, but what is nice to see is this isn't all gravel. It's a nice, actual blacktop road. I don't trust it yet because it's probably still putting out loads of grease and oil. Oh, it's so new you can smell it. Mmm! Fresh tarmac. Good bitchman. I didn't actually see how far it went down because I came out of that road. Oh, this is grand. They have no idea what they've done, though. These are the best corners. People are going to be flying down here at night. And that's part of the thing. I think, to a point, the councils have been like, leave the roads in a poor condition because it stops speeding. Or if people do speed and hit one, well, then they're seeing it as like a fine, I guess. <laughs> but as I say, to cars, I get why you don't like them. You're a lot wider, you've got more wheels on the floor, and if you hit them, you can do a lot of damage to your car. But you're not likely going to get hurt in that scenario, unless you have a crash, I guess, if it shoots you off into the other side of the road or something. But on bikes, we are just so vulnerable to them. And I'm just thinking, how long is it before we hear about a motorcycle-related death and they put it down to the fact that someone riding completely normally hit a massive pothole on the way through? As I say, it's not just potholes either. Road defects as in cracks and sunken drain covers and those sorts of things can be just as bad. I mean, a few years ago, I really badly hurt or added to really badly hurting my back by hitting a tree root. Now that was impossible to see because the road had, you know, mounded up over the tree root and it probably about lifted up about three inches. And that, yeah, that did a lot of damage to my back. But I also know roads with tree roots that run along them that way. So it's really like got a really big bump in it and if you hit that at the wrong angle you can have like the front wheel and the back wheel kind of on different sides of it the bike wants to oh it's horrible now those i know about they've been there for years and i just know not to go over them but as i say with potholes they just appear and you never know if they're going to be there next time and also like after covid just when i went to ride on roads i hadn't ridden on for a long time i was just thinking i really can't push it because i do not know the potholes of the area i totally forgot the fact that i'd learned all of them in the past and you know, it was one of the things that kept you safer, but now it's like, well, because of that gap, you just didn't know. To be clear here, I'm not saying my roads are particularly bad. I think they're a lot worse around the country. I'm just saying if, if it's bad enough for me down here, then some of the places are absolute nightmare. The main problem we have here is how many times this road's been dug up. Just look at the amount of repairs and bits that are just sunken. They just don't meet where they're supposed to. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but when I was a kid, I remember the roads being far more uniform and not having all these patches in them. Like, if they did a repair, they seemed to actually repair it in a way you couldn't really see it that well. I mean, that's my memory of it. Do you, do you agree with that, if you're a bit older and you remember back then? So yes, potholes. They are complete bastards. I hate them. What are your thoughts on it? What are your stories? Like the video if you hate potholes. Subscribe if you detest them. Help support me on Patreon if you'd like to. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.